In this video, we'll do another example of summing a finite series using the method of differences. If you've not seen the first video, please do check that as it's got a fair bit of learning in that one. In this one, it says express 1 over r, r plus 2 in partial fractions, and b, hence find the sum of the series from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r, r plus 2 using the method of differences. So let's do some partial fractions. What we'll say is 1 over r, r plus 2 is identical to now a over r plus b over r plus 2. Multiplying through, we're going to have 1, and then we will have a r plus 2 plus b multiplied by r. If you're not cool with partial fractions, please check the link up here. And if you're not and you still want to watch, you'll be able to do the next bit anyway. So what we can say is terms in r are going to give us a r plus b r is equal to 0 r. So a plus b will be equal to 0. And then what we've got 2a is equal to 1. So 2a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1 half. Therefore, b must be equal to minus 1 half. If you're doing a partial fractions question alone, I suggest spending a little more time and being a little more explicit. So I actually say b, shouldn't it? I put a again. You should be a little more explicit in what you're doing, but as we're just asked to express it in partial fractions, we'd be awarded one, maybe two marks of this part. So we can now write this as 1 over 2r, and then we could minus 1 over 2r plus 2. So there are my values for a and b, so we end up with the following. So that's expressed in partial fractions. a was 1 half, so we can write now 1 over 2r. b was a minus half, so 1 over 2 and then r plus 2. Hence find the sum of the series from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r, r plus 2 using the method of differences. We can say the following. We can say that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r, r plus 2 will be equal now to the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over 2r minus 1 over 2 r plus 2, which we've just found using our partial fractions. This is the theory behind the method of differences. If we can write um, our series in this way, we can simply make the substitution. So to find this, which we've been asked, I'm going to use this. So setting up a little table, we're going to manually sum this from r equals 1, and then we'll go up towards the end and put in n, and then get some values. So let's now put this in. So what we're going to do, we'll start with r is equal to 1. And what we'll be evaluating is 1 over 2r. And we'll be subtracting away 1 over 2r plus 2. So let's go for it then. When r is equal to 1, we're going to have 1 over 2 lots of 1, which quite clearly is going to give us 1 over 2, or 1 half. Subtracting away when r is equal to 1, we're going to have 1 over 2 lots of 3, which is going to give me 1 over 6. OK, when r is equal to 2, we're going to get 1 over 2 lots of 2, which is going to give me 1 over 4. And then we'll have minus, and hopefully you can see a pattern is emerging with these, 1 over 2 lots of now r plus 2, which is going to be 4, and that will give me minus 1 over 8. The next one, I think you can spot it before we get started, but we would still need to show our workings. Often, it's going to be 1 over 2 lots of 3, minus, now, and I'll do them uh, as we keep going, 1 over 2 lots of 5. So what we're going to get now is 1 over 6 minus 1 over 10. And of course, if we were to do the next one, r is going to be equal to 4, we'd end up now with 1 over 2 lots of 4 minus 1 over 2 lots of 6, which would give us now 1 over 8 minus 1 over 12. And you can see what's happening with that pattern. So what we'll do, we'll go dot, 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 and I will do the last three in this one to give you an idea of what's happening. So what we had now is a dot, 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 and we'll do r is equal to n minus 2. So when r is equal to n minus 2, we're going to have 1 over 2 n minus 2. So we can place that in there. 1 over 2 n minus 2, and we'll be subtracting away from that. Now, if n minus 2 goes in here, we're just going to have n. So we'll have 1 over 2n. So that'll be 1 over 2n. OK? If I put n minus 2, the 2 will cancel it out. If we take r is equal to n minus 1, 
and we sub that in, we're going to get 1 over 2 lots of n minus 1. And then on this one, we'll do this one at the same time, 2 lots of n, and now minus 1 plus 2 is going to give us n plus 1. So let's put those in. So we've got 2 n minus 1 minus 1 over 2 n plus 1. And then finally, when r is equal to n, we'll sub that in. What we're going to have is 1 over 2 n, and then we'll have 1 over 2 n plus 2. Okay, so let's put those in. So here we go, 1 over 2 n, and then minus 1 over 2 n plus 2. If we look now, what we've got is our an optometrical telescope in series. We can see that the middle is going to collapse. This minus 1 6 will go with the 1 6. The minus 1 8 will go with the 1 8. We know that one will go with the one below that. That one will go with the one below that. If we now study this and work in from backwards up, you can see 1 over 2n is going to go with that one. This one will go with the one above it. That one will go with the one above it. And we're now left to make the following statement. The statement we can make is that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r, r plus 2, is going to be equal now to 1 half plus 1 quarter, which of these two, minus 1 over 2, n plus 1, minus 1 over 2, n plus 2. So all that's left for us to do now is if we want to express um, this now in its best form, we need to add these fractions. So let's, uh, let's do that then. So let's write them here. At this point, if you want to skip to the end, you can do. Um, as I can imagine, this is going to be a little boring. We're just going to be adding fractions now. So, or if you've got a different method, I'm just going to get a common denominator. Um, you, you take your pick on this. So what's, let's write this all over, a common denominator. So my common denominator is going to be now 4, and then we're going to have n plus 1, n plus 2. So let's do that then. Let's get a nice long bar. In fact, I'll do a couple because I think we're going to need to do a lot of working on this. So our common denominator is going to be now, we're going to have 4, and then we can have n plus 1, and then we can have n plus 2. So this one I need to multiply now by 2, and then we can have n plus 1, and then n plus 2. This one I need to um, multiply now by the n plus 1 and the n plus 2. So we add that one. On this one, I need to multiply this now, and it's going to be minus, and we can have 2, and then the n plus 2. And then finally, in fact, I'm running out of space. Let's move that over. Finally, what we're going to have, and we'll tidy all of this up, we're going to have minus, don't want that bit. Let's get rid of that. We want now the last bit, which is going to be minus, uh, and then we're going to have 2n plus 1. So let's tidy this up. What we're going to have then on here um, is the following. We're going to have two lots of n squared plus uh, 3n plus 2 uh, plus n squared. I could have combined that, in fact, couldn't I? Plus n squared plus 3n plus 2. And then we're going to have minus 2n minus 4 and then minus another 2n minus 2. And that's all over now, 4, um, and we're going to have n plus 1, and then we're going to have n plus 2. So I'm going to do a bit of a rush job. Hopefully this will stack up. You spend a little more time if you want. What we've got now then, we're going to have the following. We've got uh, 2n squared plus n squared is going to give me 3n squared. I'm going to have plus 6n plus 3n, which is going to give me 9n. Minus 4n is going to give me plus 5n. And then what we're going to have, we're going to have now 4, 6, and then we're going to uh, have nothing. So when we evaluate those, that's going to give us nothing. So what we're left with now on the bottom is 4, n plus 1, and then n plus 2. And then just tidying this up, we could write this now as n, 3n, plus 5, all over 4, n plus 1, and then n plus 2. So we can say now that the sum 
from r equals 1 to n of 1 over our quantity, which was r, r plus 1, uh, sorry, r plus 2 is equal to this right here. So there we go, r, r plus 2, that was the original question, is now equal to that right there. And your met, however you want to do this, I mean, looking at that, I should have really combined that and factored that a little more. But hopefully that gives you some idea of what you're doing using the method of differences to sum a finite series.